हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैक्रोसाइक्लिक इफेक्ट बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस सी व्हाट इज किलेटिंग लिगेंड इट मस्ट बी नोटेड दैट इट्स करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज किलेटिंग लिगेंड एंड नॉट चिलेटिंग लिगेंड the ligand which contains two or more donor atoms or donor sites through which it can form coordinate bond with the central metal ion resulting in the formation of a complex compound with ring like structure is called a chelating ligand let us see it again the ligand which contains two or more donor atoms through which it can form coordinate bond with the central metal ion resulting in the formation of a complex compound with ring like structure is called a chelating ligand let us see an example of chelating ligand ethylene diamine which is abbreviated as en is the most common example of chelating ligand this is ethylene diamine molecule ch2 ch2 ethylene and diamine it has two donor nitrogen atoms and when it forms coordinate bond with the central metal ion through these two nitrogen atoms a five membered ring 1 2 3 4 and five membered ring is formed and therefore ethylene diamine molecule is a bidentate chelating ligand and now what is macrocyclic chelating ligand macro means large and cyclic means closed chain the large closed chain polydentate ligand is called a macrocyclic chelating ligand the large closed chain polydentate ligand that is having more than one donor atoms is called a macrocyclic chelating ligand and an example of macrocyclic chelating ligand is 1,4,7,10 tetraiza cyclododecan it has completely closed chain structure it contains four donor nitrogen atoms and it has 12 member ring 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 12 member ring in which nitrogen atoms are present at positions 1 4 7 10 10 10 therefore it is 1 4 7 10 10 cyclododecan it is a tetradentate macrocyclic chelating ligand and now what is macrocyclic effect an n dentate macrocyclic chelating ligand forms more stable complex than similar n dentate open chain or a cyclic chelating ligand both the ligands should be similar that is should have same number of similar donor atoms 
एंड एनडेंटेड माइक्रोसाइक्लिक क्लेटिंग लिगेंड फॉर्म्स मोर स्टेबल कॉम्प्लेक्स दैन एनडेंटेड ओपन चेन सिमिलर ए साइक्लिक क्लेटिंग लिगेंड एंड द एक्स्ट्रा स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म्ड बाई माइक्रोसाइक्लिक क्लेटिंग लिगेंड इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोसाइक्लिक इफेक्ट द एक्स्ट्रा स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड फॉर्म्ड बाई माइक्रोसाइक्लिक क्लेटिंग लिगेंड इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोसाइक्लिक इफेक्ट एंड लेटस इलस्ट्रेट इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ example it is 1,4,7,10 tetraiza cyclododecan which is a tetradentate macrocyclic chelating ligand and it is another example triethylene ethylene group is three times one two and three triethylene tetraamine it is also a tetradentate chelating ligand but it is open chain ligand it is acyclic ligand what is while it is a macrocyclic chelating ligand it forms complex compound with cu2 plus ion with completely closed structure it also forms complex compound with cu2 plus ion but this structure is not completely closed here this complex compound which is which has been formed by a macrocyclic chelating ligand is more stable than similar with same density ligand this ligand is similar to this one having same density that is both are tetradentate ligand but it is macrocyclic ligand while it is open chain similar acyclic ligand here this complex compound is more stable than this one and it is called macrocyclic effect its higher stability can be explained by saying that cu2 plus ion is well sequestered is well surrounded by the ligand and the incoming ligand cannot approach to this central metal ion easily while here the incoming ligand can easily approach the central metal ion through this vacant space and this is why this complex compound which has been formed by macrocyclic chelating ligand is more stable than the complex compound formed by similar open chain that is acyclic ligand and now thermodynamic origin of macrocyclic effect the complex compound ml x n plus is formed by the reaction between metal salt and ligand this is the equilibrium constant for the reversible formation of this complex compound k is equal to ml x n plus molar concentration divided by metal and molar concentration and concentration of ligand to the power x if this complex compound is more stable it will be formed to a greater extent and its concentration will be higher in the equilibrium mixture and consequently greater will be the value of k that is equilibrium constant for the formation of complex compound and hence it is also called a stability constant of the complex greater the value of stability constant greater will be the concentration of complex compound in the equilibrium mixture and consequently more stable will be the complex compound 
and the value of k is related to change in Gibbs energy. Greater the negative value of delta G naught. Negative negative will become positive. Greater the negative value of delta G naught, greater will be the value of equilibrium constant and more stable will be the complex compound. But delta G naught is related to delta H naught and delta S naught. greater the negative value of delta S naught greater the negative value of delta S naught negative negative will become positive a smaller will be the negative value of delta G naught greater the negative value of delta S naught a smaller will be the negative value of delta G naught and a smaller negative value of delta G naught corresponds to a smaller value of equilibrium constant that is a stability constant. Thus we can say that greater the negative value of delta S naught a smaller will be the negative value of delta G naught and a smaller will be the value of equilibrium constant and less stable will be the complex compound. The value of delta H naught is almost same for both macrocyclic chelating ligand and similar acyclic ligand because similar metal ligand bonds are formed. But when an acyclic chelating ligand forms complex compound, the value of delta S naught is more negative. When a cyclic chelating ligand forms complex compound, the value of delta S naught is more negative due to large conformational change than macrocyclic chelating ligand. In the case of acyclic chelating ligand, delta S naught is more negative that is delta G naught is less negative and the value of K is smaller and this is why the acyclic chelating ligand forms less stable complex than macrocyclic chelating ligand. A small conformational change during the complex formation by macrocyclic chelating ligand. Let us see. This is 1, 4, 7, 10 tetraazacyclododecane, which is a tetradentate macrocyclic chelating ligand. And it has this type of conformation, which is already suitable for the formation of complex compound with Cu2 plus ion. And there is only small conformational change during this complex formation. It means delta S naught will be small. And well, delta S naught is small delta G naught will be more negative and more negative value of delta G naught corresponds to higher value of K that is more stable complex compound. But when a acyclic, when an acyclic ligand forms complex compound, there is large conformational change large conformational change during complex formation by a cyclic chelating ligand this is open chain that is a cyclic chelating ligand it is nothing but triethylene tetraamine its conformation is not such that it can form four coordinate bonds with the central metal ion 
when it is treated with Cu2 plus ion. First of all, this acyclic chelating ligand undergoes large conformational change in such a way that it can form four coordinate bonds with Cu2 plus ion. And this type of complex is formed. But during this process, the value of delta S0 is large negative because there is loss of disorder, there is decrease in disorder of the ligand. Large negative value of delta S0 corresponds to a small value of G0 and a small value of G0 corresponds to a small value of K. Large negative value of delta S0 corresponds to a small negative value of delta G0 and a small negative value of delta G0 corresponds to lower value of equilibrium constant and thus less stable complex is formed by a cyclic chelating ligand in comparison to similar macrocyclic chelating ligand. Thank you for watching the video with patience. Please like and share it. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new videos in time. Thank you again.